While we're getting smarter on the pitch, wiser makes my home smarter. Let's, uh, let's start with the, the news that's happened since we last spoke. Um, two players left and Stuart Hogg confirming he'll be staying. Your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of obviously, you're disappointed when good players leave for obvious reasons. Um, but it's kind of what happens, you know, we, it's not, it's not been some major meltdown in the club or there's not been any issues with those players. They're important players of the club. They've done very well for us. Would I like them to stay? Of course I would. Is it possible to keep this squad together as contracts potentially come up and they're going to count at hundred percent in a reduced cap? It's just not possible. So I think, I think everyone who supports the club just need to understand that. Um, but having said that, you know, the conversation I had with, with Johnny and Sam, they're very positive. As, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is kind of how it should work. You know, we should here as a, as a club and as a group of coaches and as an academy and everything we do, we should try and create a team, a squad, a group of players that are good, uh, do well together, are successful together, potentially earn international caps, and it should be hard to keep them together. You know, it should be. That's, that's how the salary cap should work. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be easy to try and keep a, a good, strong squad, successful team together because as their contracts end, they should be targets for other clubs. So it's, it's, I don't see it as a, as, a, as a negative necessarily when a player leaves for, for, for that reason, that there's this opportunity for them both kind of career, financially, whatever, the whole package wise, um, for them to move. I don't, I don't I, you know, it's, it's hard for me to turn around and say that's a negative. You know, if we had a team here of load full of players that nobody else wanted, we probably wouldn't be a very good team. And so, you know, it's, there's, there's a way you've got to look at these things and, and that's very much how I look at it. You know, I, we've got, we've probably, we probably need to make sure that um, from our, for our supporters, we try and get some clarity to them as soon as possible over what the squad will be next season, just so that, and probably for people outside the game, because there's a fair bit of rumour going around. I mean, look how many rumours there were about Stuart and he never had any inclination to leave. So where they were coming from, I don't know. Um, but it just shows you these things can happen. So we'll we'll try and get a, uh, a proper updated squad out to people in early January. I've got a couple of conversations to have with a couple more players. Um, but then that can probably just settle everyone down. You know, we're, you know, we're still going to have a strong squad next season. There's not going to be masses and masses of changes. Every change that goes creates an opportunity for someone else, either people who are here or potential players who are not here yet and we're keeping an eye on or we've been looking at or we've been looking to recruit. So it's it's always going to be a little bit fluid year on year. Um, and it's our job as a coaching team and um, as, a, as a kind of group to keep moving forward and keep trying to be successful. You kind of alluded to it there, Rob, and the players said it themselves in their, their sort of departing statements that they're different players from when they first arrived. And as you mm. say, there'll be new players within the current squad or guys you bring through that will have the chance to be the next Johnny Hill or the next Sam Skinner. Yeah, that's right. And, and that's, that, ultimately, that is the most exciting thing about coaching. I mean, it is great to win trophies, don't get me wrong, you know. I, I kind of sat there shaking my head. I can't believe we've done it when we won the Premiership, and a bit, this, a bit the same with, when the Heine, with the Heineken Cup. But actually, it is very rewarding to see a guy develop, change, grow, um, and become an important player at the club. And, and I've had conversations with both of those guys about, you know, sometimes I've the, my frustration has ever been with any player here is when they become important to the side, and I see them not quite train as well as they should or play as well as they should. And, and I can see the guys sometimes react to why I'm being like it. And I sometimes have to remind myself and I often remind them, I say, I'm a little bit frustrated because I think you're an important person, you're an important player, and we need you to be good, for us to be good. And so I never have a, frustra I never have a frustration with guys who aren't, aren't good and I don't see grow and I don't see play well. And I think that's, that's important. Those, both those guys have been on that pathway. And, you know, no one's happier than me when they become internationals or they become British Lions even. It does make it harder to keep them here. But that's what you want, don't you? As, as I said, you know, you don't want to try and have a team full of players that nobody else wants. You, know, you want a team full of players that everybody else wants. And this will always be the challenge then if you create that. Well, keeping someone like Stuart Hogg there is a big statement, isn't it? Well, of course it is. I mean, obviously, you know, we went out and recruited Stuart for, for various reasons. We wanted to create a squad and a team that was capable of winning tournaments. We, we, we did that. And Stuart's been an important part of that. But he's, he's also, I think, I think it's really important that people see this. You know, Stuart's been challenged by circumstance and by us a little bit. You know, at the end of last season, I didn't feel he was playing as well as he could. Um, and in some big games, Stuart wasn't, wasn't selected to play. That was a big call from us. And I think it was 
I, I actually think Stuart's saying, no, I'm, I'm committed to this club, shows a lot about his character and shows a lot about him. Because actually, what could he have done? He could have gone, oh, well, am I, yeah, I'm not, I'm not necessarily an automatic pick at Exeter. Oh, was it easier for me to go to another club? And what's he done? He's rolled his sleeves up and said, right, I want, I want to be at a club where I know I have to be performing well to be in the first team. That's the kind of guys you want around. And I actually think that's been shown by performances so far this season. You know, I think he's, he's really rolled his sleeves up and getting on with it. Everything he's saying to me is that he's been fully committed right from the start. And I think he's showing that. And I think that's, that's the kind of statement you want to see. He wanted to clear the air with everybody. There was some, some ridiculous stuff being said on social media about him. And he just wanted to get it right. And actually, I think we've got a few more players like that as well. And that's why I'm pretty confident we can get a statement out soon because I think we've actually got a lot of players here who want to end any speculation about where they're going and what they're doing.